Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 21 of Eggenborough House City Skylines 2 series. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the magnificent American Strodes of Bourbon. Uh, really enjoying piecing together kind of our, essentially what is the map central business district, isn't it? And a lot of fun to be had with the Central Park last episode, so glad you guys enjoyed it. But today, we're going to be doing the waterfront, a marina, and lots of Greenbelt Park, and a little bit of industrial detailing. But let's do some time lapse in to prepare the area. And then we'll get stuck into the build, shall we? So with the waterfront today, I really want the marina to be a standout feature of the build. So we're going to start bringing this little local road down here and really want to base the marina off of this. So we're also going to use new road tools to key up this big arterial that's on the layer above today as well. Let's have this go through here. Now, I don't know where this is going exactly at the minute. I imagine it will probably just end in some kind of downtown park. As you mentioned, couple of episodes ago for those following the series that I like the waterfront of bourbon to be kind of a mirror opposite of the waterfront of whiskey and which of course is extremely industrial so some parks here but the main feature of the build and I want to have a marina and I also want to bring in um, the other asset as well today which is going to be the landmark of the ferris wheel um which is a significant chungus to place this in so we'll find a place for that as well today so do a little bit of terraforming uh, there was a little kind of natural indent in the bay anyway so i want to kind of maintain that shape in the marina so it looks like it actually was here before the marina was generated so let's give ourselves a little bit more land because we can see just how much we're going to need to accommodate that ferris wheel so bring it up to about here we're hitting the shipping lane there aren't we you can see where that is that's fine though let's cut that back then we'll bring this one up as well so knowing that the indent in the bay is kind of at this curve in the arterial go ahead and fill that in and then where we have all this filled in this is where we can now start to map out the shape of the marina i think so let's have a look at drawing in some alleyway roads so we'll definitely have the entrance over here so this can come straight out of the collector road and then we'll draw this across the front there and then so they'll come in here where that natural indent was and then i'd like to bring it across here let's also come onto some sensible snappings here i'd like to do quite rigid measurements so let's do 120 and then we'll bring this down again by 136 and then we'll bring this one down by 80 meters let's do a little bit shorter than that actually let's do 56 then we'll feed the marina in by 184 just sort of going to eye up the distance of what that's going to occupy there i think i'd be happy with that and then we'll do 88 meters here bring it down the same length and then i think we're going to have a little um breakwater here serve as a bit of an entrance into the port uh so well marina i guess really it's not really a port this is it so i think just sort of visually eyeing up what space that's going to occupy i think i'm happy with that it's not too bad is it um, so we are now using the new road tool upgrades, which are very fantastic. Um, so if we come in here to the road services, and again, the link for this mod will be up on the screen and down below, etc. if you want to come check out the Thunder Store. It's just called um, Extended Road Upgrades. Super cool. So we want to grab the key, and now rather than having to line up the terrain to suit the demands of CS2, we can now just force each side of our road into keys, which are... Just such a massive quality of life improvement. So good that, isn't it? <laughs> Got as good as crazy as that needed in the game. Uh, perfect functionality, exactly what these road tools should have been. So we can now have some custom keys in here as well. Now I might remove a little bit of it down here and end up sloping all of this back up to land so it's kind of nice smooth grass, but we'll worry about this section in the detail in time, that's I think. So now we've got that big concrete border, right? Looks like a proper drop down onto a wharf, doesn't it? With that big layer there, it's really going to tear the whole downtown there too. 
Now we can also do that exact same key upgrade, but this time using keys as well. So what I'm going to do, I've got anarchy on here too. So I want to draw in here and I'm going to keep snapping to 90 degree angles. And essentially just want to line the inside of the road frame that we've just built with these keys. So this will serve as the outline or basically how to walk around and using that same process now with the key upgrades um, we can just force these outside sections to be these and of course they're even going to get the little uh, handrail on them as well which is super cool from just a sort of detail and aesthetics point of view isn't it so we can upgrade to all these keys and once that's done uh, we can now have a look at drawing in the next section of the marina which of course is the piers themselves right I want to be on zoning cell for this one and eventually road guideline too but let's say for example we come down by 28 meters and then we'll have 16 meter jetties i suppose if we bring these in and we can do varying different sizes of these as well if we want you know and bring something like this allow for some larger berths and you can see how that same process is going to work again and just by forcing these pathways we're laying down now to be keys so really cool process and what i do want to do between the two keys here is save an amount of distance so let's go for maybe a nice round 60 meters or something we can have the next one here and then this is where road guideline snapping can also be useful we just want to mimic the same designs so we'll fill a few of these out across the marina <laughs> And then there we have the concept of the pathway marina and um, definitely one of the more creative uses of the pathway that's seen in cs2 um really cool and again made so much easier just by the simple road upgrades mod uh, so go get that if you haven't already so i also mentioned that i'd like uh, this road here uh, to function as a bit of a sort of breakwater so i want to dig out a layer for that to happen so let's go for here for right now so we'll have the edge of the marina and including the water level of the marina as well to be quite shallow so let's just go for right there and we can bring that lip out a little bit and then start to slope it from here maybe because there is some pretty insane height differences in the water line here it kind of the water level drops back off into the natural lock shape you can see how deep it gets so i'd rather just blend that back in if possible that's going to be good. So then let's click the height of the key and I want to slope that up from about there. I think maybe a touch further back than that, something like that. And then just want to repeat that for each section next to it. Now we can search for, I believe, boulders in the new find stuff. We can indeed. And I guess there's a couple of different varieties we could go for here. I think this one looks pretty good. And we could also put this on the line tool as well. And let's do this in a small space in with random rotation on. We just want this to appear in line with the road. And then to that extent, so we'll do the larger ones first, I think. And then what we'll do is, because obviously that's going to leave a little bit of space in there, isn't it? I'm going to place these large boulders. And we'll come ahead and grab a different one here. Thing we will do is put this back on a smaller rotation and then do an increase in spacing and draw a couple different lines of these ones in and using the anarchy mod here as well to allow prop collisions to take place 
Doesn't that could of course place these by hand as well if he's further or random look, but thankfully the uh rotation ticked here for the line tool is fantastic because you can just get much more random rotations in. That should do for right now, I think, and then let's just embellish that with the occasional wild green bush here. Something like that. Don't mind the occasional pine tree out on the great water here too. Something like that. And then keep running different bits of wild green bush between here too. And maybe a little oak tree at the end here as well. I think that's really cool, right? It's definitely going to stop the uh, waves coming through from the big ships here, isn't it? Into the water. I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and terraform at the bottom of the marina. So again, I don't want to be massively deep. So I think we'll actually grab a contour line from uh, the breakwater here. Because we can sort of see kind of a nice gradient, isn't it? To show what colour the water will get. So why don't we go about this depth here, I think. And we'll push all this through. And uh, watch the marina fill up. Particularly happy with that marina aesthetic. It's quite nice, isn't it? And if we were to also pop into the first person tour, which is wonderful now, and we can enjoy the, the view from the ease here as well. It's just about leveled here, the into the marina. I assume there's no boat prop yet, which is uh, would have been nice to have in during the de sailing, but we'll uh, hopefully have them one day. Uh, and then the breakwater view here as well. You can enjoy a really cool view over to the cargo harbour. Also see the bridge networks over there too. A little bit of height in Whiskey and lots of height behind you in Bourbon. They're very enjoyable, right? All the first person mod. This <laughs> is so cool. Uh, oh my word. <laughs> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Holy smokes. Boys oh, alright? No. They are not alright. <laughs> they possibly need some more trams on the line. Are you guys coming in just insanely full? You are full, aren't you? Overburdened public transit network. Let's have a look at the line. Signed vehicles 8 to 15. 72% line usage. You could increase the price of it to just discourage it. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. I'll try to discourage public transport. Um, how many? Then again, I guess they're hooked into the same tram line now, aren't they? So we could just assign vehicles regardless. Even though that one's at capacity. Wait, is it? No, this is an 8 out of 15. Okay, then. Uh, let's grab the line, then, in that case. Uh, we will grab the assigned vehicles, and let's bump it up to... 15 seems a bit excessive. Let's do 13. We'll leave two spare. Now, does... Is it going to borrow from... The Bourbon Tram Depot? Because there's only 15 in this one. I don't think 15 trams is a little low for a depot, all said. Is it going to spit them out of here? Yeah, it's spitting them out of here, isn't it? Yeah, you can see them coming out here. Okay, a, a line will borrow from multiple tram depots then, I guess. Confirmed. That will hopefully start clearing a little bit of the backlog. As we arrive in a very, very white winter. But it's okay. But a uh, big fan of that, right? Love it. Very nice indeed. So we'll get some um, assets placed around here during our time lapse. Wouldn't mind zoning up. A bit of industry, but I think we'll place industry ourselves, and then some commercial would also be welcome. I think what we will do as well is just reclaim zonings off the back of this, have them focused on the marina. So I don't mind having some very more commercial lots through this way, and then the marina here. So let them grow. Uh, it's also actually give connections as well, so people can get into the marina. It would be helpful, wouldn't it? Uh, that one already is connected. We could also do one here as well. And we'll have... I think that should be okay. So we'll just have two at the top. Uh, so now over here, um, I'd like to place the big Ferris wheel somewhere. So it's a big old chunk, isn't it? 
Let's just stick it in because we can with anarchy and see what sort of orientation. Actually, you know what? I think I know where I want this already. I think we can see that straight away, can't we? And um, probably aligned on a road that comes up 90 degrees here. Go ahead and turn off anarchy again. I don't want anarchy on all the time. Just when it suits us, really. Let's turn off our road snapping. So, definitely want the Ferris wheel facing out into the water. And we'll have the road line up out here, I think. And that actually sends us to milestone 18. There we go. Yeah, even more money, even more development points. <laughs> Wonderful. Perfect. Yeah, cool. So, just want a simple road connection there, does it? Hmm, I can probably pedestrianize that, actually. Go ahead and shut the pedestrian connection on it. We will start manually here. Let's do. That there. See where those textures have extended down, of course, which we now have the wonderful world of surface painter. So, and then we can just extend everything down here with uh, the brand new tile surface painter, which is delicious. You know what this is? It kind of hit me the other day. I was dreaming about this mod. <laughs> it's um, it's surface painter and decals combined into one mod, and it's absolutely delicious. It was not a quality of life mod I ever thought was needed. I always thought just decals and surface painters should be separate things, but God, is it good. <laughs> I really like it. And for obvious reasons, because now we can draw out these just deliciously little custom plaza blocks here, can't we, right? Let's extend these pathways down. Have it come. I often find it's best to do the top one first. And then you can kind of eyeball that second angle. Then we'll get some of our favorite trees here. Let's do some birches. And then we can just have these lined up in the middle. And I think that blends in pretty seamlessly. Doesn't it? The pedestrian street there. Just wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, well, let's actually check the asset out first, shall we? <laughs> this uh, absolute behemoth of an asset. Is it because those bloody boats are so loud? I feel like the game sounds does we rebalance a little bit. We've also got a little bit of a glitch here as well at the cargo harbour. There's like people just glitching in and never moving here. So it does create a little bit of a traffic jam, unfortunately. But hopefully that bug will be patched sooner rather than later. But uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I think one thing I do want, what I don't like here is how that grass texture just ends. I probably want more key work around here, I think. So it's a bit of terraforming, just so we have a little lip of land around the edge of the Ferris wheel. I'm going to push this out. And have it out there. And then I'll grab the alleyway road again. Don't want any kind of major road structures through here. Also delete our... I really just want to have these come... around the edge of the building. I guess we'll also hook back into there as well. And then using those road upgrades, just say I'd actually like this to be... He will, thank you very much. And I don't know what we're going to do with this space. Probably got some parking in here, actually. Definitely want some parking down by the waterfront. And then we can just come back in and soften away a lot of those edges under the water. But we know it, we should have a much firmer base for the Ferris wheel now. Which is uh, certainly appreciated, isn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> are you alright, boat? <laughs> What are you doing? Tipping left and right all over the place, isn't he? Uh, cool. So I'm pretty happy with that, right? That's pretty nice. And we've got some little commercial spots popping up around here. And I would like to do some custom building. Um, I'd like to have a bit of commercial down here to represent almost kind of like boating services. I think it's called um, Chandlery, I think, for any boat affiliated people in the comments today. I think it's called Chandlery from very old job I used to have. I think we'll have this down here. So let's come into our find it options. And we'll filter for industry buildings here. Now I'm going to search for warehouses because this is going to give me exactly what I want. So we'll have one of these guys here. Now I guess we still need to zone these, don't we? It's actually the first time we've plopped in CS2. So we'll see how it goes out. So I wouldn't mind Maybe he's a little too big actually for this sort of what five I'm after. I definitely think if you're going to be playing with the find it mod, it's worth spending a little bit of time just going through 
um, each of your assets and seeing exactly what it is you're getting to play with. It's all about familiarity, right? I'm just going to handpick some different warehouse looking buildings here. I might even bring in a little inlet road in this way. And then let's play, say, more little warehouse on the back there. Maybe something a bit larger opposite. Yeah, I don't mind having that there, I think. That was quite nice. Uh, and then I want lots of surface through here as well. So let's have... We can actually demarcate with this on path as well. Let's go to side of buildings and angle here. And then just against this one, I want to run pathways through in a couple of different spots. Let's have it head up to here. And then we'll also come into geometry and come back across the road. Fantastic. And then love to paint out some uh, surfaces now for the yards. So we've got our, it's called onshore. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So this can be our boat and supplies place, right? We're gonna call this and then we have boat and supplies over here. Let's come into our services and we're just gonna grab I think it's I think it's just pavement surface I want. Yeah, just that kind of neutral grey. And then just fill out this space in the corner with it. Up to there. And then we can have lots of space here for some prop work. Um now we have the picker tool that also comes with find it. And what you can do with this picker is run it over any props you see, and you'll see how it kind of highlights them. You can just picker that prop and then place them as you see fit. It's amazing. It's so cool. <laughs> you can do lots of different things. We can get some shipping containers over here as well. But again, just such an improvement on the CS1 picker, isn't it? Uh, of course you can search for your own props as well, but often I think coming into existing buildings and just examining what we can steal. Because especially when there's no thumbnails, it does make it a little awkward sometimes to um kind of scroll through the prop list, but anything you can see, you can pick up and you can take. And then I don't want these surface everywhere, so I think we'll also chuck in a little row of oak trees behind this particular industrial unit here. And can we get a truck or something or so there are some props here that cannot be bulldozed after placing. So of course, place those at your own risk, but kind of perfect for what I need here, right? Little utility trailer. So I now can't ever delete that, but I'm fine with that. I'm never going to move it, right? So we can embellish little prop yards now around our industry, which is going to be uh, just a tremendous amount of fun, right? Also trim off this little bit here as well. Might bring the extended key around this side too. But uh, lots of fun to bring pers uh, personality to waterfront like that, isn't it? Big fan of that one. So that's the marina side of things. We'll finish embellishing this during our detail time that's today. Uh, so returning up to the top. I did mention I wouldn't mind perhaps having this section here as sort of grass banking, I guess. To run actually run the pedestrian road up to hook back in with the trams would be nice. So let's work toward that goal. Let's unkey this section here. So it's a simple left click and then we'll terraform up. So let's grab our slope tool. And we want a fairly significant size. And then let's just slope up a bit wider than that actually. To the top there. And we'll probably do three sessions of this. Past egg would have thanked present egg for leaving a little more room here, but I'm happy with the established hierarchy now. And that's soften where the key does begin. And then all along that slope that we've just done. But this should make this hill quite a bit more palatable now. I also wouldn't mind using a key upgrade on this tram road here, actually. Have key one side of it. I actually wouldn't mind maintaining a very small recession against that key, just so we can expose it a little bit. I think that just gives the tram line a little bit more bump, if you like, for lack of a better phrase, I think, right? Does that come down there? Special. Uh, and then we'll have the pedestrian road come up to the top here. So let's grab pedestrian and we'll line up pretty much in the middle here. 
I don't want this to be getting overly steep when we come up here. I don't think I hate that. Let's jump into first person view. I'll give it a little test drive. We're walking down the street and then we have our pedestrian entrance here. And we guess we can extend the park out here. I want this to be quite a... Again, back to the point we made at the start of the episode. For it to be a mirror to Whiskey's, but I'd like to have it be very green heavy or white heavy at the minute. It's <laughs> all the bloody snow. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with that. And then the last thing I want to touch on before we move into detail and time lapse is actually bringing in some more surrounding row housing over here. Um, like we do, because again, always maintaining the crawl away. You know, like in our opening cinematic, the big sort of strode we've got going on down here. I want that sort of low density to so row housing sort of vibe to appear back over this side. So we'll have that appear here as well. So let's have some more alleyway roads and we'll line up our tiles for mostly back to back zoning. Actually, it looks like we probably want to slope this as well before we start building houses on it. So let's come up to here. Just going to make that land much more palatable. And a big soft hug for everyone. Lovely. I should make it much more workable. And then we'll aim for just about back to back. That should do it. And then same again over here. And then we'll end our zone in this side. And then I think all this space from the tram line onwards can just be parks and maybe the occasional sort of inner city American apartment building as well. I wouldn't mind. Mostly probably on the street corners here. A big apartment building there. Cool. Now, of course, lots of the old faithful row housing, which is always a good choice of zoning, isn't it? And probably do what we did over by the Strode on the other side of Bourbon as well. We'll mix in some office and commercial blocks along the main street. We do need to decide what's happening out here, actually, because currently... So I imagine with the road network... I'll just cover this while we're here. Um, we've got this big bridge coming out of part the port here. These bloody farms keep collapsing. Don't know what's wrong with them. We must just be suffering bad weather. So anyway, before the collapsing farms, we were saying... Um, I imagine this bridge sort of evolving like it did over this side, where we've got lots of little slip ramps off of it. Oh, I love seeing the freight trains move through the, the train yard. <laughs> That's so nice. I do love the new trains. But I really like this side of the train yard. Actually, how it just kind of fades back into country over here. Big fan of how this sort of riverside here has developed. Quite nice. Anyway, digress. I want a similar thing to happen over this side of the bridge as well. So let's grab some highway roads. And I think what we will do is essentially just evolve this into a sort of larger bridge interchange over time. So for the needs of the city right now, I think we're going to come in with a left slip lane that looks like that, I think. Then we'll come into that. And then we're also going to pre-upgrade a section of the bridge here into asymmetry. To allow for that turn off, I think. And I also wouldn't mind an additional slip road there too to come down into the harbour. So again, why don't we prepare the land for that? I've no great precious plans for the land around here anyway. So we'll allow this to come out. But I might also making this um can I just add the key upgrade to a roundabout and not we can for that one as well, I suppose. Anyway, I'm getting distracted again. Let's keep on topic with the slip roads. So with this one just peeling off here, I also wouldn't mind another one to then peel off of this one as it comes downhill. Connect into there. This is going to take a little bit of pressure off of this roundabout here as well, isn't it? Which will be nice. Although I'm not loving the angles here in play. Let's see if we can maybe tidy this up a little bit. I don't mind having it actually remain as a bridge segment for a hot second. I think something like that is more what I'm after. And then where that embankment starts, let's come out from there. 
and we'll do straight down into the marina here, I think. I think I'm a little happier with that. And then maybe one day we'll have this bridge elevate kind of up and over the roundabout and develop a possibly a diamond or something around here, maybe a smaller dumbbell before it flows into the larger, larger sort of regional interchange here. Uh, there's also another direction I wanted to add in here as well. So Fawn Highway. Um, oh, camera flip out. That was like the CS1 camera glitch, wasn't it? Uh, so Fawn Highway, I'd like to have also exit here as well. So they actually get the option to turn out here and cross over the interchange there. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Really liking how a lot of the regional networks have developed around Edinburgh. It's really helping tie everything together. And of course, we've got our big flow out here as well today. But uh, otherwise, that feels like a good place for detail and time-lapse, doesn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and throw together the rest of this little industrial bit on the marina. Uh, and then we'll get some larger commercial in. Uh, lots of part work around here, just simple paths and a couple of props and whatnot. And I also mentioned car parking as well, didn't I? So we'll probably get some parking here too. You guys also said to throw in some multi-story as well, which I think we do have unlocked, don't we? I just always forget to use it. There's the underground parking building, actually. I've not used that one before. Anyway, we'll find a place for it. Do the way, let's detail up Bourbon's Waterfront and Marina. And then we'll be right back.
Okay guys, let's have a little detail review, shall we? So this whole waterfront has turned out uh, much better than I anticipated. The whole vibe has come together really nicely. And uh, a tremendous view from the bridge here, looking over Bourbon, right? What a drive that is now into the city. Really cool. Uh, so down by our park, we have a gazebo that has had a key path wrapped around it. That now goes all the way around the edge of Marina. And then there's some tasteful bench work here too. And a very nice place to come and chill, isn't it? Sort of on the edge of the sort of green belt here with uh, more benches and trash cans around a couple of playgrounds over here too uh, just some light prop work around the backs of the warehouses where it makes sense where there's obviously kind of like a delivery point here i'm um, just using the new find it mod to or find stuff really i need to get into the habit <laughs> of calling it now uh, using find stuff to find stuff such as containers crates trailers and whatnot and that theme continues over here as well with the barrels so just some classic uh, CS2 prop work and I'm just really happy with that look at the quality of the vanilla props that are in the game and you know when find it or find stuff continues to get updates and whatnot uh, hopefully this is just going to keep getting better and better we get access to more and more stuff so I'm uh, really happy with all of this little waterfront that turned out here a little industrial yard to help kind of essentially serve as chandlery for any boats that come in here uh, our little port entrance now has been extended out with a little bridge here plus all of our a breakwater uh, sort of wall is in here with the rocks and the overgrowth now. With our peers, also dropped in some European apartments in here as well. So there is kind of a mix of European and American themes over here. And then we've also got an apartment building over here on the marina too. Uh, and then lots of trees to just hammer home that green belt vibe. Uh, same thing with extended surfaces out here as well. 
uh, along the ferris wheel with our parking over here which there's only one or well, two cars in here at the minute i thought the tourist attraction might have pulled a little more but i guess maybe a lot of them that are visiting are actually taking the public transport because the trams are getting quite busy around here now so i guess that's just the cs2 sim pathfinder mechanic kicking in a little bit people just don't prefer to drive over here because there's so much public transport connections for them i guess Either that, or they're all parking on the roads. <laughs> I'll let you decide which one. Uh, what's all green belt design through here, where we've also turned a little section of that tram road into bridge so we can feed a path under it, uh, which then meanders back up there as well. There was a tree in the path. Make sure we delete that. There we go. So yeah, really happy with all the little layers and networks that are developed around um, the differences in the height we've got over here too. Uh, over on this corner actually in the downtown we had a really great natural generation of assets kind of back to back. So, uh, none of this is actually modded, <laughs> that's just vanilla zoning which I'm super happy with. And then lots of mixed use in the foreground of the downtown which um, I really like. The very nice sort of gradual crawl up in the height now up to those major office towers right in the city centre isn't it? So uh, yeah. I'm really happy with how all this area turned out here. And we also built a really nice park here right in the center of the city. And we've also got some more little layering going on here as well. Just having fun and experimenting with those road tools. Uh, trams also passing by uh, here as well. One uh, just passed down there. Actually might be a good idea. Let's just actually check this while we're here. Yeah, there is a tram stop a little bit further down. So I think what we will do is actually move stop to this one and delete this tram stop down here i think i think it's going to make a little more sense to have the tram stopping outside the park but uh, either way around that fountains just bench and bins and whatnot everything you'd expect to find uh, within a park but really like the shape here and the design of feeding one layer under the next and just having fun with the road tools really and hopefully we see some people using the tram there we go wonderful news it has lots of nice layers having that key wall in doesn't it uh, and then a little bit of high density and apartments over here as well as the downtown continues to crawl over into the mixed use over here. Uh, not mixed use, sorry, row housing. There is a little bit of mixed use around here. Uh, and then the city just sort of bleeds off uh, with some more slip road connections and asymmetry where it makes sense for these uh, inner city roads joining the national collectors again that feed people. Of course, back to whiskey and then over here as well now. It is also getting a little bit of use as it comes up this way too. So really love how all the networks have came together and indeed the whole view from the bridge here uh, sat in looking at the waterfront of Bourbon and I think we managed to achieve that vibe didn't we? If you look at the sort of waterfront around this side of Bourbon and we've still got a little ways to go up this side as well there's still quite a bit of work to do over this end but um, it's very much a mirror opposite of Whiskey isn't it which ended up being either very overgrown there's actually probably more scope to develop the water side over whiskey down here as well, isn't there? Maybe we can do that too. Uh, but either way, the main cargo port obviously being the sort of industrial mirror for the marina and very heavy green belt sort of park structures in Bourbon. So really happy that we managed to maintain that sort of vibe and goal that we wanted to sort of integrate into the city when we started the episode, I suppose. Uh, but otherwise, guys, that's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Those likes, comments and shares below really do help the channel to grow and we are on our march to 100,000 subscribers so if you are finding yourself enjoying the content over and over again and you haven't subscribed yet do consider doing so because we're getting close to 100k which is tremendously exciting otherwise just still tremendously enjoying a cs2 a lot more with these quality of life improvements if you haven't checked out the thunderstorm yet and you are a little bit skeptical of it definitely worth playing with even if you're just going to get those few quality of life points like the prop line tool and find stuff just those two mods alone make such an enormous difference to your experience playing cs2 so uh let me know if you're going to pick them up either way massive shout out to all the patrons support on the channel really appreciate you all you all beautiful human beings with fantastic character and if you are interested in getting a little bit more involved with the channel and would like to help support there are links down to instant gaming where you can always pick yourself up a fantastic deal and a link to patreon as well should you wish to get involved in some little bonuses around the channel but they're all down below if you go wish to explore them Otherwise, please do enjoy today's cinematic spot. I'll shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much indeed for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.